Hey everyone, good morning. It is a bright and early 6.30 a.m. on May 1st. Holy moly, this is early. Well, hopefully here in a little bit I'll have my transmission. Hopefully the guy can find me without any problems because last night I put a whole lot of money in my bank account yesterday. And uh, that... And my phone expires and usually we I refill it around midnight because if you don't you lose a day. I've tried to refill my phone last night about 12:30 and I tried again here a little bit ago. It says unauthorized user on the card. I went to the ATM and it worked just fine. So right now I don't have a phone so hopefully the guy doesn't need to call me and find out where I'm at. I don't know how today's going to play out. The reason I got a feeling I'm probably going to end up making a drive over there. So, hopefully, transmission's here in a little while. So, I guess we'll wait and see, huh? I haven't been up this early in a long time. My body's going like, huh? <laughs> So, yeah. All right. I'll be back when we get the tranny. Or if we don't get the tranny and end up creating a whole bunch of running for myself. And I even said something to the gal yesterday that I was going to be writing big check and that. And But now, card works at the ATM, but it won't work for my cell phone company. Hmm. I don't get that. So, all right. Well, it is here. It did make it. And the guy first pulled in my drive, then he backed out, and I had to chase him down because he, yeah, since my phone wasn't on, had a hell of a time, so. Oh, crap. Well, I gotta go to town and get my phone on so I can call my bank and find out what the hell's going on, so. Alright. Okay. It is. Oops. 9.05, we'll call it. Now, well, I'm getting ready to slide my homemade uh, tranny jack under there so I can get that plate made and get the transfer case. And then I gotta remember to bring my big pan in and take the pan off this tranny and get that fluid dumped out of it. Even though the new one's got fluid in it, but I'll show you when I get to that what they did with the tail shaft housing. At first I thought they brought me the wrong damn tranny. I'm like, uh, this is a four wheel, but I didn't say nothing. I, because I realized they put uh, plugs and all the holes on the tail shaft and it's just a shipping precaution, I guess, so. <sighs> all right, well, we're going to get to work. Well, it don't look like much yet, but I just got done making that uh, well marking out where that's got to go so well I'm gonna get those welded on and we'll give her a try there you guys go that is not motor oil that is the tranny fluid that come out of this it's just nasty uh, so I got the tranny drain now I'm going under to start working on the torque converter, or transfer case. But there's my jig I made. So, alright. With fabricating and everything, we got one and a half hours in doing that. And I've been busting my butt. So, oh. yeah, I gotta clean my glasses. Good thing that they were on fluid splashed up in my face so well I want to keep it moving all right we can knock 10 minutes off that here's where we're at I do my YouTube videos ah, look at that my little lift holding the transfer case I don't even have to take that clear out of the vehicle uh, we got everything got the other tranny lift up there got the bottom bolts out let's see can I see that 
new training from over here. Okay. We got three. Holy crap, there's that many damn bolts. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more bolts to go. Huh. Now let's go over and look at that. Oh, and by the way, there's my time stamp. 12.15. We had three hours today. But fabrication and let's see. Ah, okay. Cool. Looks like the motor starter's bolted in the motor. Good. Oh, this is what I was talking about for what they cap the housing so they can ship it to you. So and then that metal plate there. All right. Well, got a stretch. Yeah, and I just had to look for my camera. What the heck? Look at there. There's what we're looking for. The out. Got the old one out. Dirty mess. You should have seen my hands. My true color was starting to come out. Uh, yep, it's out. Left work just like it's supposed to. Not so nice with that back there sitting there. We just roll that back. Actually, get that other tranny around here. Get transferred off what we need to. Get it on there. Put her up. Get some bolts in. And uh, of course, here we are. 457, which. Uh, 2 o'clock today. I don't remember what time it started, but. It's out, and now we got to prep the new one to go in. So, all right. That last time check is going to be the time check. I got to take off. I almost forgot. I got to go to bank. So, we'll be back to the thing. That is not dark because of the jug. That is what came out of the transmission lines. Sure. Come on. Really? If I wanted you to do that, you want to. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's that. This is what I've been doing. Yeah. Hmm. Some metal filings. Nice. Okay. The transmissions lines there. Been running this stuff through them. Let's color clean. Blowing it back and forth through both lines. I damn near used the whole can and it's finally coming out clean. But uh, notice I did that without the transmission in here. Otherwise, there's no way in hell you're going to get anything. And then I took low air pressure, blew it through there until all the cooler cleans blew out. Cleaned up the vehicle, but there's the flywheel. We gotta put one guide pin back in the motor. That came out. So now the training lines are clean. We get stuff ready and we're gonna start putting the new transmission up in here. So oh and I didn't check what time it was when we started again. Oh well. Dipstick tubes been staying up there the whole time now. Of course, it's going to fall out. There we go. There. Now stay there. <laughs> so, yeah, the only thing I didn't like is their design right there. Let's put a hose right in the way of your bolt. Which that's going to be interesting to get back on, but it should. So, Alright. Well, there you go, guys. The hardest part of the job's over. Now you're going to go, hey, wait, this is a four wheel drive. Why is it? I left that on there because I got these shipped with partial fluid in them. So, we had. That's my problem. I can't get the vehicle high enough to where we could put the tranny on here and roll it under. That's the hardest part of doing this is lifting this all up. And getting it in there 
up on the lift, but now it's on the lift. It's going to be good. Hopefully I got this on right so I don't have to mess around with that. That's your park indicator, I guess. So Tranny's going back up in. And they got shipping stuff here, and that was told. That there's a bracket on the front of this that holds the converter in. I don't know if you guys are seeing it or not, but that way it don't slip out while you're doing uh, putting this uh, up in there. So, all right, I gotta get that out. As my helper's running out of time, I at least want this up in here because get a couple bolts in there and then have him help me slide the transfer case snap back on with that little jig there oh now I got a light show you guys see I welded some bar stock up there and held her pretty much in place so we just rolled her to the back of the vehicle I got the room to work and in theory it should roll right back up onto the turret transmission so all right oops the wrong button well guys I'm done I'm not done with this, but I am so exhausted done. I'll show you. Tranny transfer cases. All up in there. I just got to double check wires. My flashlights that I use were dying. Excuse me. And, uh, I just can't take it anymore. Minus the time that I had to go to the bank, which was about a half hour, 45 minutes. Nine hours I've been working on this damn thing today. Now minus some more time, if you remember that I subtracted that earlier. I just can't do it. Got the drive shafts to hook up. Uh, wires. Hell, I forgot. I didn't even pick up any training fluid for this thing. I forgot it. So, this bear is done. I can't. I can't go no more. I'm done. Wife's home. Supper's ready. I gotta go. So, Picked up everything, hopefully, so the cat don't mess with it. Uh, and guys, stay tuned, because that, if everything goes right, will be going tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. I'll be going here. Because, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I want to pick up the uh, stuff I need for this. Which, shit, I better buy some tubing tomorrow. Uh, plan is this week and this thing runs. I got an old carburetor I'm going to clean up and put her on, see what it does. So, well, guys. This is day two of the Trailblazer transmission replace. So, I gotta go home. I am shot. I think I'm gonna check my numbers. I'm down again. I was down the 72 earlier when we went to town, so that worked out perfect timing then to go to town. So, but I tell you, so far, if it wasn't for my brother in law coming down and helping me. Um, this thing won't be this far. I I don't know what's wrong with my arms. I can't lift that damn train. Him and I both had a heck of a time. It took us about four times to get it up on my thing. So I'm gonna quit blabbing. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be back on the Chevy here soon. So alright.